Let's bring in Dr. Ashton once again, joining us from Atlanta at the CDC. Going to be talking again to Dr. Walensky a little later. But first, we have some questions for you before you ask questions of her. First up okay. here from our viewer, I suffered from hot flashes for a while, but I haven't had any since I received my vaccine. Is there any correlation? Well, this is a common question, and it's not just about hot flashes, TJ, but women of all ages noticing some, a lot of times, changes either in their menstrual cycle or symptoms like hot flashes, which typically occur around menopause. Uh, there is no biologic explanation for this. There is no cause and effect of how something that works on our immune system could interact with our reproductive hormones. So it could be true, true, and unrelated, or uh, the medical term is coincidence. All right, <laughs> that's a medical term. All right, doctor, <laughs> next one here. How should you check for a fever without access to a thermometer or doctor? I can demonstrate. This is all you have to do. <laughs> You just place that. Uh, yes, that's about 98.7. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's simple as that, I right? I know. That, that's the superpower trick that so yes. many parents yes. and, and certainly grandmothers <laughs> think that they can magically do that. You can't. So the short answer to this question is you can't check for a temperature without a thermometer. Um, you know, there's just no way to do that. That is not precise. We don't do that in the hospital. Um, you know, you really need an accurate reading with either an oral thermometer or those touch point thermometers or a rectal core temperature. Um, again, 100.4 is what our definition of a fever is in a hospital setting. 98.6 is so old, TJ. It yeah. was based on actually axillary temperature readings. That's just an average range. Of course, you can be in the 99s, you could be in the high 97s. 100.4 is the number everyone needs to know, though. Above that, Yes, you but, have a fever. But, Dr. Ashton, I know you can't get an accurate reading, but you're telling mama and grandmama, can, can, can't you just feel somebody's head and give you an idea if they have an elevated temperature? I mean, sure, the person could feel hot, but they could also feel hot and not have a fever. And then other signs and symptoms like fatigue, chills, freezing, goose flesh, or burning eyes, of course, those symptoms frequently go along with a fever. But this? Yes. That has diagnosed many an illness when I was a child. <laughs> uh, Dr. Ashton, thank you. As always, we'll check in with you again here shortly. Folks, keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.